My lifestyle and profession is uh, as a skateboarder, that's what I do. So I'm a downhill skateboarder which takes me to technical roads all around the world, um, following the world circuit if possible, and uh, racing all my friends and trying to beat them. I want to go through the same corners you would in your car or on your motorcycle. That's more exciting to me than doing your average kickflip or going to the skate park and hanging out with a bunch of kids there. There's uh, beautiful views in the mountains and some really amazing places we get to see going around the world uh, as a downhill skateboarder. When I really started to get into the Skylines and, and did more research, I actually found out that the Skylines were competing on the same racetracks that I did in Australia as a skateboarder. And so when that all came through, I figured out that actually in 1991, which is the same year as the car I drive, the Skyline was successful in winning at Bathurst, which is also a race that I've won at on my skateboard. So when that all came together, I thought, this is, this is kind of creepy in a way. Like they, the car and I have some, sort of this weird connection, I guess, in a way. So not only that, but it's, it's, it's not your average car. You know, if I get my dad in there or something like that, you know, he, he's got a big smile on his face. Everybody does when you go for a ride. It's, it's fast and it's fun. And it's, it's the car I want to drive every day. I mean, you could spend money on a Nissan Maxima or something like that, but it's not going to put a smile on your face like a GTR will. The way that I ride my skateboard and the way that I drive my car and have had it set up now, um, I, I'm really all about traction and grip when I'm racing on my skateboard. And so I, I've desired a car that can grip the corners like nothing else and, and a GTR is just that with, with four wheel drive and um, just big wide sticky tires and the right setup. And you, can, you can get an immense amount of grip out of this car. It's the same that you can get out of the skateboard too if you know how to ride it the right way or drive it that way. I just feel like after owning the car now and, and working on it and getting it set up the right way, it rides just like my skateboard. It's, it's just this ultimate tool to get around the hills. And so I, I just have this big grin on my face all the time. You know, I, I get to skateboard down the hill and then get into one of the craziest cars and drive up to the top at max speeds. When it comes to adrenaline rush, skateboarding, car, uh, at, at times I think the car is um, a little bit less controlled. I've been skateboarding for so long. When you hit 20 pounds of boost and it just comes on like nothing, um, it, it can be a shock, uh, especially when you start getting up higher beyond 20 pounds of boost. It's, it's, it's a lot of power to be putting down very quickly. For me, the car, now that I've had it for a while, I'm, I'm, I feel like I have control over it, but the skateboard is second nature. It's, it's something where I've spent so many hours, so many kilometers, so many miles on these roads that I don't have to think about it. It's autopilot all the time. The car, on the other hand, it's actually more fun because I have to focus on it and, and, and think about how I'm driving. That can be a lot of fun. Uh, a Nissan Skyline uh, is one of those dream cars for, for so many people. Uh, it's sort of the legend, you know, you, you dream of seeing one on the roads. You just drive along in, in your Japanese car and you think of the king of JDM and you go, oh, I think that's, that's probably the, the skyline. But the problem is you can't have them anywhere. I mean, especially here in the States. I never thought I would own a vehicle like this. It's just such, such a, a cult classic. It's one of these funny cars that everybody knows and wants to have but can't.